I'm Dr. Samuel Zaidi. I am a child neurologist with uh, research experience and a background in AV gene therapy clinical trials, um, mostly in pediatric neurological disorders. And I am currently Vice President of Clinical Development at Passage Bio. I'm currently leading the GM1 ganglucidosis clinical trial, um, IMAGINE-1. It is a phase 1-2 safety tolerability clinical study in the GM1 ganglucidosis patients. GM1 ganglucidosis is what we describe as a neuronopathic lysosomal storage disease. So basically, it is a disease in which an enzyme that is low or deficient um, or absent uh, results in buildup of toxic substrates in uh, the lysosomes, which are in, in cells throughout the body, uh, but you see the impact on the central nervous system um, for these patients, uh, particularly the pediatric patients that we are targeting with our clinical trial. GM1 ganglucidosis is considered on um, a spectrum, and this spectrum uh, involves uh, one end of the spectrum is quite the severe early infantile patients who present with very low tone in the first couple of months of life um, and uh, loss of motor and cognitive and language developmental milestones that they may have required may have acquired as part of their development, and we. We, um, uh, the term we use for that is regression of milestones. And on the other end of the spectrum is the adults who present with GM1 ganglucidosis, uh, where the disease robs them of their ability to carry out their day-to-day -day activities and their quality of life. So GM1 ganglucidosis is quite the spectrum. Um, it has significant neurological manifestations in both um, infants, um, we we'll call it juvenile, and also on, in the adults. In addition to the neurological symptoms, we also know that in the more severe cases, they may develop heart disease as well as uh, liver disease.